the most important thing you need to do is cover your respiratory organs. And you have two of them on your face. One is your mouth and the other one's your nose. And so when you wear a mask, you need to wear it over and cover those respiratory organs. Your mouth and your nose need to be covered. That's what inhales and exhales air or coronavirus. And it's your biggest risk of catching coronavirus or transmitting it to others. Uh, face shields add another level of protection. If you're going to get splatter in your eyes, a lot of our, our medical personnel wear face shields in the midst of their job duties and things like that. But the most important thing that you can do to protect yourself and others around you is you need to wear a mask and it needs to cover both of the respiratory organs on your face. Not, not like this. This is wrong. You see a lot of this around. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to cover both. That's, that's the proper way to wear a mask for your protection and for the protection of others around you. Yeah, uh, healthcare workers in close contact with uh, COVID, uh, caring for COVID patients who may be coughing and secreting, uh, that's, that's who I worry about having face shields and goggles. Uh, out in the community, uh, it should be six foot social distancing and a and a standard mask. I, I don't advocate, you know, and and I don't think a face shield does not replace a mask. I yeah. think that's another. I've sometimes seen people with an upside down face shield that doesn't prevent uh, the the respiratory secretions from getting out like a like a normal face mask. So it's not not a replacement.